previously on the move we hit the gym where our contestants got pumped up about fitness red team pulled into the lead with teamwork and determination but blue team is sticking with it will they regain the lead find out this week on the move hello i'm paul peterson and we're back on the move for a whole new take on fitness and active lifestyles. We're following the lives of our 12 contestants as they take on new challenges to become active and get fit. Today, we're gonna to keep diving into that active lifestyle, so grab those bathing suits and your walking shoes because we're hitting the pool and the park and encouraging us at each step along the way. Here's our very own Dr. Scott Kaiser a physician specializing in geriatric medicine who is dedicated to helping us all meet our healthy and active aging goals. Take it away, Dr. Kaiser. Let's get on the move. We know that exercise is a great prescription for the prevention and treatment of heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, depression, memory problems, the list goes on and on. In addition to all of the health benefits, it's also just a great way to get out there and have a good time. Our challenge is to find a way to keep it going. So stick with us as we explore new ways to stay fit and make your life a life that's on the move. And now let's meet our 12 contestants. From the blue team. I learned to swim when I was 50, and I'm still learning. I started swimming in the river, and I always love it. I'm emerging for a better health. I hate the pool, but I'm here splashing my way to fitness. This exercise diva is going to make waves. And from the red team. I'm going to splish, splash into shape. I am ready to move through the water. I don't like to swim, but I'm going to try. I'm on the move. For me, swimming is the best. I'm swimming since I'm six and I'm still loving it. James, hit my water. Now to help us get started, Dr. Scott Kaiser. Each week, we explore new activities, new ways to become active and get fit. So today we're hitting the pool, okay? All right. Now I know some of you, you hear that, you say, oh, no. some of you love to swim and some of you not so much. We've been making progress towards our goals through trying new things. It's all about the same fitness fundamentals, just in the water. So do you remember what those key activity areas are? All right, yes. So now to help us with all that, to do a water aerobics program, we've brought in a special guest instructor somebody who's been teaching water aerobics for years and can't imagine a life without it. Here's Judy! Hi All right. guys! Hi. Hi! I'm 70 years young and one of the reasons I am is because I've been doing water aerobics for so many years. I can't tell you how much it helps people with arthritis, people with joint problems, people who are heavy and like me and uh, can't bounce around on the on the ground, it's so good for you, and I hope that if you do this class, you'll love it so much, you'll run out and see what your park or your Y or your gym has for you, and you'll join the class. Let's get the move on, I'll meet you in the pool. Yes! Maestro, music, please. Back when I said. And I call this the rooster thingy. I feel a lot better. I average right now at least 10,000 steps a day, and that should keep me healthy and be able to stay with my wife, uh, support her, and take care of her. It's been a great pleasure having on this uh, uh, program on the move because we have and lots now, and lots of fun. And up. 
special guest today from the city's Recreation and Parks Department. The Department of Rec and Parks offers a great opportunity for seniors. Mm -hmm. They basically show up to the pool, show proof of age, yes. and they get in for free. And, and they get in for free. Now right. that's it. Did you hear that? Free. And there are facilities all over the city. Correct. Yeah, we operate uh, about 54 during the summer. 54? 54 during uh -huh. the summer. And then we scaled it back to 12. Mm -hmm. uh, year-round facilities on the winter. Do you have instructors to help uh, our seniors? Are classes held? We have classes uh, that are geared towards adults, mm -hmm. uh, you know, including senior citizens. Right. Uh, and then we offer swimming lessons for them. And we also have aqua size classes. Sit down. out hard and I lost some weight and I'm gotten agile you know my hips don't hurt anymore I can lift my feet up and my arms and my when I came here I had a problem putting that back not anymore now it goes back all the time so I'm really doing great here Exercise is helping me a lot with my uh, diabetes, and I control it right now. And it's helping me also with my weight. I lost already 10 pounds since we started the program. We're froggy jumping. Wow, looks like they were having a lot of fun, splish splashing away. Now let's drop in and see what EJ's preparing for our healthy plate to keep us on the move. Another part of our healthy living game plan is eating well, and that's why we're here back in the kitchen with EJ, our health coach on the move, and chef extraordinaire. What do you got cooking for us today, EJ? All right, we have our delicious vegetable beef stir fry made today with fresh locally grown produce. Now that's beautiful. Now I, I have to say you got to be careful with the red meat. It does increase cancer risk, cardiovascular heart disease risk, so I really do recommend to avoid red meat as much as possible. Maybe just eat it once in a while. Are there any other options? It is an option. You can add the beef to this recipe or you can just have a fresh vegetable stir fry. So that's what's great about the recipe. So that's perfect. Versatile. You can exactly. do the beef stir fry or the veggie stir fry all with the same kind of concept here. Exactly. And what we have here is we have our fresh um, carrots, we have our red cabbage, we also have a broccoli slaw at the bottom. Oh, we have beautiful. Um, fresh um, mushrooms that I chopped up. Mm -hmm. And um, we have red bell peppers. We have zucchini. Everything's so crisp and beautiful. Uh, I'll let you to it. It smells great. great. I can't wait to try it out. Hi, Paul Peterson, standing in front of the Griffith Park Adult Community Center. We're a relatively new center. Uh, we opened our doors in January of 2008. The reason we have so much activity here is we're able to draw from recreation and parks uh, professional instruction. Uh, we partner with LAUSD. Be on the move, get out of your house, come down and dance. I'm on the move to have us a healthy world. I want everybody to be fit and trim and not have an ache or a pain. And I want you to realize you are what you eat, what you drink, what you think, what you say, and what you do. And you want to keep being on the move to be healthy and fit for a long, happy life and longevity. And now it's time for this week's Chalk Talk. Longtime friend of the seniors in LA, the Honorable Tom Levine. I'm going to give you our contestants for their inspirational Chalk Talk. I want to do that before I do your inspiration. Give Paul Peterson a big hand. Thank you. 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 Thank
good. This is exciting. I want to get everybody a little spin, a little touch. Every morning I get up and I go into Griffin Park. I climb up to Mount Hollywood, and not only for my physical fitness, but for my mental fitness. And here at this senior center and centers around Los Angeles and Southern California, to get together with others and to be on the move, you're healthy, you're excited. It's good for all. So I'm proud of each and every one of you. You're great Angelitos. And Paul, let's get on the move right now. Come on now. Now let's see how EJ's dish turned out on our healthy plate. Hey, EJ, it smells great Thanks, in Scott. here. So what do we got here? We have our vegetable beef stir fry that we made. With all those steps our contestants are taking, I know they're working up an appetite. And what better thing to do than eat a nice, healthy dish? To see the whole thing, you can go to the website, otmtv.com, or check your local listings for Aging Well in LA to see EJ cook this from start to finish. It looks great. I don't care what your age is, I don't care what your physical condition is, anything, anything in, in life, life is possible, possible and, and you can, can make, make it happen. happen. And right now, let's get on the move. How about this week's team challenge? We've got ourselves a good old fashioned relay race, taking it away in the first leg, James S. and Elkie swimming to their teammates who will now run through the pool where they will meet up with their teammates with a little twist, running with the pool noodle. Oh, off they go. Blue team is running away. David is really moving through the water. Can Mary catch up? Here comes David coming for the handoff to Levada. Blue team is running away with this. You can do it, Mary. Keep it moving. Now I know you can't follow along at home, but this has got to get you excited about getting out there and getting moving. All right, blue team is still on the move. Here comes blue team with the handoff for the final leg. Lilia taking it into the finish line with style. What is this? Out of nowhere, here comes red team. Arturo towards the finish. Is it red team? Oh, too close to call. Let's go to instant replay. And it is blue team by a fingertip. What a race. What a race. Congratulations, blue team. <laughs> yeah, that was a strong performance and so close with that push by Arturo at the end. And it was by a fingernail. What did you think? I wasn't even in the race, but there was so much energy, I need a nap. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but you know, that little extra bite by staying strong from start to finish, that made the difference. And congratulations again, Blue. It's time for each of you to upload your activity data into the health vault, and then we'll see you at the checkpoint. Last week we reviewed some of the fitness goals and the activity plans that each of you has developed to help you achieve those goals. When you hear goals like preventing heart disease, helping my joints, feeling full of energy, feeling good about myself, it reminds us how important all of this is. Setting goals, developing a plan, and then you'll be seeing results. And now the bigger challenge, keeping it going making that lasting change. And we're gonna help you keep it up with a handy guide, Workout to Go. And so you can all use these tools. Hey, stay motivated. Now, let's see how you did this week. Starting with the blue team. Okay, blue team. Now you won this week's challenge by a whisker. <laughs> uh, let's see how you did individually over the past week. Okay, oh, by the way, Mariko was not able to be with us. Uh, she had to take care of her father. We've been in contact with Mariko, and while she's busy taking care of her father, she's been finding ways to stay active. This is my visit to Honolulu, is to take care of my 91-year-old father. And it can be a challenge to carve out time for myself. But when I do, Waikiki is a great place to walk. On the move and on the beach at Waikiki. You know, guys, life and all of its responsibilities don't stop while we're trying to stay active. 
That's exactly why we have to find ways to integrate it into our routine, even when that routine changes. That's right, and, and she averaged, uh, even caring for her father, 10,800 steps a day. That's so here at the Marathon. And of course, we wish her father well. Of course. All right, David, little improvement this week. Yeah. <laughs> David, big improvement this week. We know you've had some, some tough challenges. Yes. You've been fighting to overcome them. Let's see how you did. Okay. Well, first of all, your average was 7,000 steps per day Whoa. for a total of 49,000 steps for the week. Wow. That is up quite a bit. Yeah. You know, and, the, and Paul, that doesn't even tell the whole story there because he was he had one day, David, you had one day where you did 11,000 steps. Yeah. That was your best step effort. And you've made this commitment to climbing the stairs. Yes. And when you, you're taking time through the day, just instead of taking the elevator and in addition for a little workout, and you had one day where you did 17 flights of stairs. Wow, fantastic. Our champion walker. Oh, boy. <laughs> 20,000 steps a day. And I also like that you're fitting all sorts of new activities, continuing to report the dancing on your activity profile, and really staying active and, and, and sticking with it. James, step forward. James S. Even with those three days where you were not feeling well. 7,000 a day. You took time to rest, and then you gradually built it up slowly back to that high 15,000 best yes. step effort that you were at before. So that's great. You tailor it back, and then you slowly build it back up. Sure. Average 9,700 per day. Walking your dogs is your absolute favorite way to get good activity, yes. but you were also doing yoga and some upper body workout as well. Well, I have weights, and I also bought a ball to bounce on while I'm watching television. Oh, very good. Yes, yeah, so I kind of do them both together, and um, it's helping. Love Ada, 11,000 average per that's day. That's right, that's right. You reached your 10,000 step per day right. goal and exceeded it. How did you do that? You know, I told you the motivation from my team when I was looking on the board and I was last. I didn't want to be last. <laughs> so uh, I committed to getting up and walking every day. I told you I suffer with the osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I haven't been bothered with the pain. It's been easier to move. So uh, that's my commitment. I don't want to take medications. Yeah, I don't blame so you. So I chose to do it with the diet and the exercise. The best prescription. Fantastic. And now to help you get on the move, a quick word from our Department of Aging. The City of Los Angeles Department of Aging provides federal, state, and locally funded programs and services for the city's seniors and family caregivers. Most of the department's programs and services are provided through its 16 multipurpose senior centers which are located throughout the city, as far northwest as Northridge and as far south as Wilmington. Seniors are welcome to visit any of our senior centers, but if they want to take advantage of specific services, such as transportation, home delivered meals, and care management, they should contact the center that serves the zip code they live in. You can call 1-800-510-2020, that's 1-800-510-2020, to find out which senior center serves your zip code. All right, now from the red team, Gloria, 15,000 per day. All this exercise we're doing can keep you heart healthy, prevent and treat heart disease. Tell us about how that's all going. Well, right now I'm actually off my high blood pressure medication because I've increased my steps. Mm -hmm. And now my husband, I bought him a Fitbit and we're in competition. <laughs> this is my new competition. I love it. So you were able to reduce your blood pressure, yes. check back in with your doctor, and yes. under the guidance of your physician, we're actually able to get off your blood pressure medication. Yes, I would. Mary managed to get up to 30,000 steps for the week, which is over 4,000 per day, and that is a significant improvement. Yeah, it is. Do you feel ready to kind of keep it up even yeah, beyond? Yeah, I do. I rejoined my gym mm -hmm. and love the senior exercise class because right. you can sit or stand depending on how mm -hmm. you're feeling, and I loved being in the water. My knee felt so much better, right. So, and I used to swim a lot. So, so back to the pool for you. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. <laughs> All right, James D. 11,000 steps a day. You still losing that weight? Well, you know, I had a couple of neighbors come up to me the other day, says, are you losing weight? And I look, no. 
I guess I am. <laughs> Arturo, averaging 13,000 per day. By land and by sea. I mean, this guy, he's moving in the water, he's moving on the ground. Exactly. You're just doing a lot of moving, and I yes. just see that the, the smile just gets bigger every week. I feel great, and my uh, sugar levels are really down, so I am controlling them. Also, my... Uh, High cholesterol is coming down, wow. and mentally, I feel with my mind clear. Let's get real, people. That's what we're talking about. You have diabetes, you need to get your sugar under control. You have high cholesterol, a lot of us have high cholesterol. You need to use diet and exercise That's to get your good cholesterol up, your bad cholesterol down. This is life. This is what it's all about. All right, LK. Yeah. How'd you like the time in the pool? I like the pool, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm a fish. You think you're a fish? <laughs> Part fish. Part yeah. fish, well, with some I love these. it, but with some legs. Yeah, look at this. You're averaging 11,000 steps per day. Yeah, good. What are you doing to stay on top of it like that? Well, good thing I have a husband who pushes me. 7 o'clock, he kicks me out of bed. 8 o'clock, we have breakfast. 9 o'clock, we're in the park. I feel that my hips are much lighter mm. now walking. And one potato sack is down. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and now Lee. Did you like the water today? How'd you do it? Loved it. Yeah, did loved you? It. What? Yes. Wait, wait. Stop the press. What? I loved it. Wow. You said so you could, you, there was no. no way you would go in the water. So you I made a it. mistake. Okay. Well, you know, oh, but wow. I enjoyed it and I would do it again. Well, there oh, we are. That's well, great. listen to that's this great. and talk about improvement. Over 9,000 average per day. So you have improved a lot. Let me tell you this. Yesterday morning when I got up to do my walking early, I started running and I never run. Wow. I always walk. And I kind of, I, I shocked myself. I said, I'm running. And so it was, you're, so it's making a difference. You're finding that kid again. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I saw that in the pool and you know, that was a great thing about today. It happened in everybody. Being in the water really brought out that inner kid in everybody. And I think that's great that you're feeling that when you're out there getting active, and that's a great thing to help you keep motivated to make this a lifelong change. And I'm going to do it. All right. Thank you like so much. Like the sound of that. Well, it's time for week five's wrap-up. And the numbers for the red team? With all those steps, 63,500 points. And with all those activities in their profile, another 20,000 more points. Which brings the red team's total to 369,900. For the blue team, with all that walking, 65,500 points. And 25,000 activity profile points. That means that the blue team came out with a total of 125,500 points for this week, responding to the red team's challenge because they went back into the lead at 409,200 points. Well, that wraps up this week's episode. Tune in next week to see how our contestants do in their pursuit of health. Now let's get out there and keep moving. Together we can find a way to get active and stay active. Before we know it, we'll all be... On the move! <laughs> and I call this the rooster thingy. I've had a great week. I've been getting up walking and that was my challenge getting up out of the bed and starting that walk. I was able to just get up and walk out the door and keep walking. And up. On the Move has been wonderful for me. Um, I've been challenging myself once a week, trying to improve each week. Being in the water feels so good on my bad knee. I love it. I love swimming, and I'm swimming all, since I'm six years old, and I go swimming at least once or twice a week, you know. It keeps me going. That's why my lung, my heart is strong. Yeah. You know what? I had a good week. I did all of my steps. I feel a lot better. Um, I'm waking up, and I, I just want to get moving. That's what I want to do. Hey, this is about me. This is about me changing my behavior, developing a new way of living on the move. I love it. I love, I'm 
the move since the very beginning to the last. I love swimming and it makes me feel like a little kid again. If you haven't been active for a long time, it is important to start out at a low level of effort and work your way up slowly. Beginning slowly will help you become more fit without straining your body. You may want to talk to your doctor if you decide to start a vigorous exercise program or significantly increase your physical activity level. Exercise is safe for almost everyone. If you have a medical condition, exercise may actually improve it. You may want to talk with your doctor about how your health condition might affect your ability to be active. Support for this program was provided by the L.A. Capra Center, empowering older adults to stay as active and healthy as possible. The John A. Hartford Foundation, dedicated to improving the health of older Americans. week for our season finale. We'll be at the Brio Beach and we'll be finding balance in health and finding out who our winner is. That's next week on On the Move.